Hey guys, Big Yacker here. Today we're going to be installing the gear track system offered by VibeKayaks.com for around $20 a strip. Um, it comes in about a foot, foot and a half uh, length um, track. It allows you to simply put eight screws with self-tapping screws into the side of your kayak with self-tightening screwdriver. Um, and once those eight screws are uh, put into your kayak, no more drilling required. Um, for putting anything from rod holders, GPS, fish finders, panfish camera mounts, um, and for you DIY guys, you know, endless, endless possibilities. So without further ado, let's get started. So I will actually be putting this on my kayak. Um, I've already installed one on the right hand side of the boat. Now this one will be going on the left hand side of the boat. Um, and these, there's a, everybody's going to have their preference and they will fit more or less anywhere where the, uh, anywhere right here along this edge. The best place to put these far enough to where, uh, they're out of the way, but close enough to where you can still reach them. Um, definitely if you're going to be putting a GPS and, uh, most definitely if you're going to be putting some rod holders, cause you don't want to be sitting there fiddling around trying to get in. Um, so, uh. What I did was I lined up, just kind of, you know, I didn't even use a tape measure, um, I just kind of did it by eyesight. Uh, if you put your center console inside, um, or on the kayak, these two lines in, uh, right in front of the inch and the centimeter fish, I went ahead and I put the front right there in line with that, and then I started tacking it down. Make sure that it's, that it's level. You don't want it like way over here because now all your stuff's going to be lopsided. So you want to go ahead and you want to make sure it's fit on there very snug. Check the sides right here to make sure that there is no gaps. Make sure it's flush with the kayak. Make sure back here it's the same exact way. Now, this is the only hardware that the gun rail uh, gear track mounts come with. And this is all you will need. You will need eight Phillips head screws that go into this right here and we are going to hand tighten them we are not going to use any power tools whatsoever so go ahead and take your screwdriver place it in there where you want it to be make sure again that you don't have any make sure you don't have any small gaps and nothing like that the, the, it's actually it's flush give pressure to the side of the kayak and turn until your screw starts to go into the kayak. That's in. Then, you don't wanna go from one to two to three to four. You wanna go ahead and go to the opposite side at the opposite end. All right, again, making sure that there is no gap. You wanna go ahead and push the screw in. Hopefully you guys can see this. Give it a little bit of pressure until the screw takes. And you do not want to wrench down on these. All right. You will be able to feel when it starts getting tight. Stop. You do not want to burrow out the hole that this screw is going into. You want the screw to tap itself. Now you can go ahead and start screwing them all in. Alright guys, so that's it for the uh, Vibe Kayaks curved gear track system that fits perfectly on your gun rails um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video uh, and learn how to put this thing on the correct way um, and without you know with minimal tools hopefully you guys uh, can go ahead and go on vibekayaks.com and purchase one or maybe two like I have they're about $20 a piece um, 
you can go ahead and fit your GPS, your fish uh, fish finder mounts on here. A lot of things are made by a ram ball that fit right into these slots. Um, also, uh, ram ball mount makes or ram ball attachments. You know, you got rod holders and again fish finders GPS um, for your transducer. They got transducer swing arms made by ram mount. Um, you can go ahead and get all these accessories without drilling a single hole inside your kayak once this is installed. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and until next time, tight lines.